what? <laughs> it's all in here. This is how I get high quality leads without paying for clay or any other expensive tools. Let me show you exactly how I built it step by step. Cold email only works if you're hitting high quality leads. That means customers that are actually in your ideal client profile. And the problem is most of these lead databases out there give you bad quality or old leads. And the ones that don't cost a lot of money. For example, Clay is one of the most powerful lead generation tools on the planet right now, or at least the most hyped up. It lets you stack up enrichments, add AI, and get super high quality leads, but it comes at a cost. Specifically, 16 to 32 cents per lead, which I don't want to have to pay. Because if I'm running 10,000 leads through the system, that's $3,200 you have to spend before you factor in the cost of the other sending tools or any of the other stuff that you add on when you're sending cold email campaigns. So when one of the guys in AB Mastermind asked me, hey, how can I use an AI agent to qualify leads without burning clay credits every time? I had to figure it out. All I want is the same output as clay. I need to put in a list of domains, have AI find the decision maker, figure out if they're a fit for my product, decide if I should reach out, and then drop it into a lead list so I can send it off. And I'm just going to build this live on screen click by click so you can follow along. There's no slides. There's no fluff here. If you like this kind of thing, you can join Gallad on Gold. All right, let's just give you value today. Here's what the finished system looks like. On the left, you'll see a raw list of domains pulled with built with. On the right, you'll see AI cleaned domains coming through and it iterates through each piece. Now I'll show you exactly how to set it up step by step. First, we need a list of domain names. So let's start by opening up Google Sheets and I have a list here. This list cost me $44 on Fiverr. It's pulled from Built With and it's companies that are using HubSpot chat. That's just my ideal client profile because I'm selling an AI live chat tool. So I want to target other companies that are using live chat. You could target anyone else here. The most important thing is that they've got a domain and that it's labeled domain. This is also 100 and 11,000 leads. So just for this example, I'm going to cut it down to like 100 leads. Step two is sign up for N8N. This site lets you rebuild Clay's entire logic, Google search, GPT, enrichment, and you'll do it step by step using your own API keys. That means there's no credit system. There's no limits. It's just one flat fee and you get full control. And that fee is only $24 instead of $350 or even $800 from Clay. You have to pay Clay $350 just to use APIs. Go to N8N.io, sign up, click create workflow and name it something like lead qualifier. Then drag in a manual trigger. This lets you run it every time you click execute. Then you're going to click this plus button action in app, Google Sheets, get rows, sign in with your Google account. Now choose the name of your list and the name of the sheet and we'll test a step. There you can see the node is executed successfully. I'm about to do some technical stuff. Just trust me and go with it. It's going to make the next part possible. Then we're going to click the plus sign and we're going to split into batches by doing a loop over items and we'll hit test step. And then we're going to add a weight Then connect your loop to your weight, which is set for 0.35 milliseconds. Step three is go to serper.dev. This is the tool that helps us search Google directly, just like Clagent probably does under the hood. So we'll sign up for this. Then go over to API key and just copy this. Back in N8N, hit the plus button and add an HTTP request for serper. You're going to go to post, put in this URL, then the headers are content type, application JSON, and then the API key you'll put in here. Then you'll send this body, JSON using JSON. We'll put this here. Um, here is the domain name. So just drag and drop this into your thing. What you'll see now is a Google search. So look at this site, linkedin.com and the CEO of banner flow. So it's trying to find the CEO of banner flow. What your app is going to do is run this Google search and it's going to find the CEO of banner flow. And then it's going to pull this information. Now, if you're not looking for CEOs, you change this to whatever you want. So director of marketing, whatever you want it to be. And then when you hit test step, it will find the right person. So YJ Lau director of business development. But for right now, let's just do the CEO. So I'm going to rename this one, find the contact. Now you need an open AI API key. Now we send that LinkedIn snippet to the AI and get it to output the exact info that we need, the right person's name, the company name, etc. any data that it can glean from there that we can then use for the next steps of finding the email. So go to platform.openai.com and create an account. If you have an account, you can also just log in. Once in here, go to dashboard API keys, create a new secret key. We'll call this one N8N, then copy this. Again, don't share these keys with anybody. Back in N8N, you'll click this plus and type in open AI, text actions, message a model, put in your API key here. We're going to pick GPT-4 from the model list. Then you're going to use this prompt for open AI. Here's a search result from Google. Title, snippet, link. First, determine if the person is a good fit for the following offer. Then you'll put in your offer. Let me just open it big. I like to use some details. So an AI live chat tool used by B2B and B2C companies to qualify leads, reduce support costs, and increase conversions. Then extract the following fields from this result and respond in exact JSON format. You can just look at this and grab it, screenshot it, right? I'll give you the whole thing. 
It even has multiple steps here. Now, when you hit test step, you'll see that we now have the name, the LinkedIn account, and a quick summary, and whether they're a good fit for our company all in one line. I'm just going to name this, are they a good fit, and extract name. Now, we can't just use this blob of text, so we add a function node. Go to code, put in this code, which will basically turn this block of text into usable Data. Step five is set up find email. All you have to do is give it a name and a domain and it gives you a verified email. You can also pull phone numbers if you need them for cold calling, but right now let's just focus on email. Go to findemail.com and sign up. Once you're in, go down to API and grab your API key. Now we need to set up find email. So we'll do the HTTP request. Then for method, you're going to write post, put this in the URL, then send headers, authorization, bearer, then your key, content type, application slash JSON, send this in the body and hit test. And here you go. Name, email, domain, company, all ready to go. Step six, sign up for never bounce. This catches any bad emails before they bounce and is like our mini lead verification waterfall. We can get way crazier with it, but let's just add one verification. Go to neverbounce.com and create an account, then click integrate, create new app, type in N8N, custom integration, create app. Now click into here and get your API key. Now we're going to add another HTTP request, get to this URL, query parameters, we'll put in key and our key, add parameter, email, and we'll put in the email address that we just got from find email and hit test step. And you can see that it's valid. Validate email in never bounce. Then only if the email contains at, we'll put it here. If it doesn't, we're gonna loop back to the beginning to the next item. And then the same thing here, we'll add an if statement. If result is equal to valid, then we keep it. If it's not, then we loop back. Step seven, output the results to Google Sheets. We're gonna go back to our Google Sheets and create a new tab called processed leads. Add the headers, name, email, LinkedIn, summary, good fit. That's where we'll put the yes, no, and the domain. Now back in N88, we'll add another Google Sheet. The operation this time is append row. Pick the sheet HubSpot leads, processed leads, and we're gonna map each column manually. First, you have to execute the previous nodes so you can see what's going on. Name, email, LinkedIn, summary, good fit, domain, and with all that in place, then we can test the workflow. And you can see it's looping through correctly, and the leads are being added right here. When it finds an invalid email, it just skips it and keeps going. As they come in, they're added right to the doc. This isn't about canceling Clay. I still use it, especially for testing new data sources where you don't have to deal with the API key thing. I get it. It's fun. It's easy. But once I know something works, it's going right in N8N. You can do all the API testing on a free account. If you want the full outbound system I use to book meetings on demand, this workflow is just one piece. Go on over to galadon.com slash gold and you can see the full offer and how I can help you for only $4.97 a month. In a second, I'll recommend another great video for you. Like this video for more, comment down below, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.